Alrighty. So this is going to be a reading for my Sagittarius. Thank you so much for joining me here. This is going to be a look at the next relationship that you guys are going to get into and the experience um, of what that may be like. And this reading is supposed to be more of like a heads up on energy for some of you, a forewarning. Um, but we're really going to get into some things. And yeah. Um, so if you're new here, welcome. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell if you want to see more of my readings. Um, also, if you want a personal, check out the description box for my website. All right. Sagittarius. Sagittarius, what is their next relationship the experience going to be like? Okay, and understand you do have free will as well, guys. Um, oh, hold on. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. So, what this person may be like, we do have the Ace of Pentacles. How you will meet them we do have the page of swords your first impression of this person i do have the seven of swords um what kind of relationship this would be i have the two of wands obstacle is the queen of cups um outcome is the eight of pentacles and what you will learn from this connection i do have the knight of wands move this over Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about this. So the first card representing what this person may be like um, with the Ace of Pentacles is somebody who um, is always looking for new opportunities to make money, um, to solidify themselves in their career. This is somebody who also just likes stability overall in their lives with their, you know, relationships. Um, with with pretty much everything in their life, they like to have a level of stability. Um, this person also, hmm. This person is also commitment material or somebody who likes to be in structure. Like I said, relationships, they're not someone who's like, Oh, well, I don't really like the whole relationship thing. How you will meet this person, I do have the Page of Swords. So um, this could be this person seeing you while you're out and then they approach you just straight up. Um, this could be also you guys having like a mutual friend and also you, you meet them through them. This is also you possibly... Hmm. Some of you guys may slightly get into like a, I don't want to say an argument or an issue with this person, but like while you're out, there could be like a small incident between you two. And then you find yourself like talking to each other <laughs> and this person shows like some sort of interest in getting to know you better, but it just looks random. Like just out of the blue, this person speaks to you. Um, now, your first impression of them, we do have the Seven of Swords. Um, so you may initially think that this person's like a player or they may have a girlfriend and they may be cheating on the girlfriend to talk to you. Some of you may feel like this person is someone who you just want to avoid altogether because you guys may have like trust issues or something like that. Um, but yeah, initially, you guys may just think that this person is a player and that this person is not really interested in you just possibly just wanting to sleep with you. So some of you guys may just be chopping it up as that. Um, now what kind of relationship this would be? I do have the two of wands. So this relationship is going to make you have to choose in terms of the path that you're on. Are you going to take this relationship serious or are you going to focus on being single? Are you going to, you know, see if this results to marriage or are you just going to wait for an ex to come back It's one of those type of relationships that make you kind of choose up okay now the obstacles that may come up i do have the queen of cups so this could be a cancer pisces or scorpio this could be the mother of your child um your actual mother this could just be anyone honestly this could also be somebody on their side doesn't even have to be somebody on your side but the queen of cups could be an issue um also 
the obstacle may be the way somebody expresses their emotions. Like somebody expresses their emotions like um, in a very messy way. Like the Queen of Cups is like, messy emotions it's like yeah I'm emotional but I also don't know how to get my emotions out correctly to where people even understand what the hell I'm saying so that could be the problem somebody gets like really emotional and they get messy in their emotions and then they just do too much so make sure you're not doing this and make sure you're not doing with anybody like this okay um now when it comes to the outcome I do have the eight of pentacles. So this is you both trying to put work into this connection, trying to master it. Um, both of you guys could be realizing that there's still some internal work that you guys need to do in order to be in a relationship with each other because you guys may trigger different aspects of yourself that you both haven't worked on. Um, and then this person and you just start working on on self. You guys could also be looking at doing like the whole couples therapy and all that stuff. Now, what you will learn from this connection, ultimately, I do have the Knight of Wands. Um, so what you will learn is in relationships, you guys need to make sure you're keeping that same energy in terms of like keeping the passion aspect alive. Um, like with the Knight of Wands, this is like the relationship being passionate at times, the relationship being good at times, then the relationship being hot tempered at times so this is like having a good balance most of the time and then also speaking to your own personal energy because you guys are Sagittarius you guys are the one energy your personal energy does affect your relationship if you're flaky <laughs> you one day I'm all about this connection I'm passionate about it then the other day you're not too sure and then people can tell from your energy then that's a problem whether you're a male Sagittarius or a female watching this um, but make sure you guys aren't being flaky or you guys aren't giving off this like inconsistent energy as well or dealing with people like this. But, um, and then also this is looking at your temper too. Um, this, this connection is going to show you where you guys may have a short temper, where that may be a detriment to you in all areas in your life, not just in love. Because if you let your temper like sway you and move you, then that's going to create bigger problems than just in love. But this is what I see. I'm going to stop right here. Thank you so much for watching this. I hope that you were able to take what you need to take from this reading. Again, understand everybody has free will. Everybody has their own life to live. So don't just base your whole life off of a general reading. I understand if you can't like get one right now because of financial reasons, but don't base your whole life off of general readings. Okay. Um, but thank you. I hope you enjoyed. Thumbs up, subscribe, check out the description if you want a personal and I will see you in the next one.